In today's video, I'll be showing you how to bypass a forgotten pin, password, or pattern on the Samsung Galaxy A55 5G. So the first step is to grab a data cable as well as a computer and then use the data cable to connect your phone to the computer. And once they're connected, and you should see the charging animation, the next step is to force a shutdown. And to do this, we long press on the side key and volume down button. Then once you think the screen goes black, you move your finger from the volume down to volume up. So, side key, volume down, and then long press. Ignore this power off menu that will appear and just keep pressing. Once the screen goes black, move your finger to volume up and continue pressing until you see the Samsung logo. Then you can let go. From here, you'll be brought to the recovery mode menu. And the next step is to use volume down to scroll through the options until you highlight wipe data slash factory reset. Use the side key to select this option and then confirm your choice. So then just wait for your for the data wipe to be completed and once it's been completed ensure that reboot system now has been highlighted then use the side key to select it so now just wait for your device to restart and during this whole process everything will be deleted from apps to files like photos images any downloaded music will be erased. So just wait patiently. And then once the data wipe is complete, you'll be brought to the setup page that you found when you first switched on your phone from purchasing it. From here, go through the initial steps. So select your device language, then tap on start. Connect, agree to the end user license agreement as well as the privacy policy, then agree. And from here, you can choose to set up with another device or you can choose to set up manually and then connect to a Wi-Fi network. Then wait for your device to get ready. And then, because you don't remember your pattern, select Use My Google Account instead to verify that it's you. And then enter in your account details. This includes your email and password, as well as maybe a two-step verification that you might have to go through. So once you've entered in the details and the account has been verified, you can choose to add it back to your device or you can choose to add a new account, it's up to you. And once you've selected an option, wait for the process to continue. And then from here, you can choose to copy apps and data from a different device, or you can choose to have this as an individual phone. And then once the account has been added, tap on next. From here, you can choose to restore data from a different device 
and you have all these different essays that you can choose from. Then once you've selected one, wait for a few moments and then choose what you want to restore. Once you've selected what you want to restore, tap on the option and then wait for the process to finish. From here, you need to agree to some Google services such as location and scanning. And then once you've read through the terms and agreed to the services, tap on accept. And then you can choose to protect your phone using face recognition, fingerprints, pin, password or pattern. Or you can choose to skip that option. And then you can choose to enable Hey Google, or you can just choose to skip and do that later. And then you can choose to sign in to your Samsung account, or you can just tap forgot password and then set up in settings later. You'll be missing out on all these different uh, features that you can access with a Samsung account. So choose to skip or set it up later. It's up to you. And then you'll have to agree to legal information given to you by Samsung, which is the terms and condition. And you have optional options. You can read through and agree. Then tap on agree to continue. Give service permissions, then continue. And then choose your display mode. So you can choose between dark and light. It's up to you. Then tap on next. Then you'll be given a list of recommended apps that you can install onto your device. And then tap on next if you wish to install them. And now tap on finish to complete the process. You can choose to install other apps from here, or you can just choose to do that later. And you'll be redirected to your home screen and you should see apps are busy installing from that Wi-Fi network you connected to. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.